when they'd asked me to consider being the chairman of the IRB at the Mass General, uh, I decided I'd go to the primer meeting. And I didn't know anybody there or anything else. And there was the primer luncheon. And I walked in, and there was this table. And it had like three people sitting there. And it was open otherwise. So I sat down to uh, you know have lunch. Um, and so I introduced myself, you know, Greg Kosky, Mass General, and all that. And one of them said, oh, from the Mass General. I said, did you know Henry Beecher? And I said, well, actually, I never really met Henry R. Paz and Cross. Uh, and they started telling me all these stories about Henry Beecher. Well, it turns out that the three people I sat down with were Charlie McCarthy, <laughs> Lou Lasagna, and Bob Levine. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and here I was with complete naivete sitting with three of the greatest contributors to the entire field of human research ethics. And Lou Lasagna told me the story about how uh, he had gotten concerned about um, the studies that they were doing at the Mass General when he was a fellow in pharmacology at, uh, in Henry Beecher's laboratory. Mm. They were taking people off the street, Charles Urkel, and bringing them in, and they would sign a waiver. They were doing classified research with the, uh, the CIA uh, about mind-altering drugs, because this was Cold War times, and they were trying to see how we get people to tell the truth and all that stuff. And he went in, and he, he told Dr. Beecher, he said, I'm not comfortable with what we're doing. And Beecher was a very gruff kind of guy. And, but when Lou walked out the office, uh, apparently, Beecher looked, started looking at all the papers on his desk, and as he flipped through them, he saw the things that they were doing, uh, where they were doing all kinds of research activities without consent. Uh, they were, uh, you know, it was just, he saw all of these things, and he went, he apparently spent the whole day, and he called Lou back in, and he said, you're right. He said, you're right, and that was the genesis of the paper that Henry Beecher wrote. Uh, and, you know, Beecher originally had, well, a huge number, something like 200 articles in there. And he had to negotiate, you know, uh, great pains to be able to actually get this paper published. And uh, I think it was Franz Engelfinger, who was at the Mass General at that time, who was the editor of the New England Journal, who finally said, okay, you whittle it down to, you know, only these, and you don't publish, you know, the, the studies, which ones they were and all that, and, and we'll do it. Um, it was very interesting when we found out later who would actually publish those articles. My boss at the Mass General and Partners was actually Gene Brownwald, one of the greatest uh, contributors in uh, cardiovascular research of all time. He was the president for, vice president for research at Partners. He, in fact, was a, an author on four of the 22 papers that Beecher had criticized. Uh, in that whole thing. And so then he came to be my boss. The remarkable thing was that Dr. Brownwald had, you know, come to realize the importance of, uh, of doing the research right. And so it was under his direction that we actually created the integrated uh, IRP process and all uh, at the Mass General and Partners, Brigham and Women's, which is still, I think, one of the very best that's, uh, that's out there.